So tonight, the game must go on, but with heavy hearts. The Rangers will take on the Los Angeles Angels in about one hour. The team's mourning the loss of Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs, who was found yesterday in his South Lake hotel room. Skaggs will be honored at tonight's game with a moment of silence. We have team coverage tonight with Bill Jones and Robbie Owens. Bill jo Jones joins us live from Globe Life Park with the new developments. Bill? Yes, we uh, heard from the Angels for the first time this afternoon following the death of Tyler Skaggs yesterday. And as you can imagine, for both Angels players and Rangers players, they arrived at the ballpark with very heavy hearts this afternoon. A few Angels players were out on the field for an early workout around 4 o'clock. They took batting practice as usual starting at 5.30. They have come to work intent on playing this game in memory of their teammate and players were in attendance at a press conference where we heard from manager Brad Osmus, GM Billy Epler, even owner Artie Moreno was there. The Angels decided to play this game tonight to honor their teammate Tyler Skaggs. The first day back, whether it was today or tomorrow, is was going to be the, one of the toughest other than yesterday. A lot of problems go away when the first pitch is thrown until the last pitch is thrown. And these guys will be there fighting for each other um, with Tyler weighing heavy on their hearts tonight. The game itself is a, can be a refuge for players where they can turn their minds off and just focus on baseball. And I don't know that sitting in a hotel room would do them any good. They talked about what a special person Tyler Skaggs was. He brought joy to everyone that he came across. Reporting live from Globe Life Park in Arlington, Bill Jones, CBS 11 Sports. Bill, thank you. Rangers fans were also sharing in the sorrow of the sudden loss. Our Robbie Owens is on that part of the story for us just outside of Globe Life Park. Robbie? Well, Gilma, right now behind me, fans are arriving for tonight's game. Some telling me that they didn't have to get here to start thinking and sending prayers for the Skaggs and Angels team's families. But as Bill just reported, our Rangers also taking the field tonight with heavy hearts. Two quick outs for Skaggs. L.A. Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs appeared to be the picture of health. Oh, my goodness, what happened? So baseball fans from L.A. to Texas were shocked to learn that he had been found dead in his South Lake hotel room. Police there tell us they found no evidence of foul play or suicide. An autopsy is being performed today. Real sad, man. Yes. Too sad, really. <laughs> 27, you know. Steve Cochran and some pals drove down from Oklahoma for the Monday game that was subsequently canceled as news of the sudden death spread. Prayers go out to his family and the team. And being a lifelong baseball fan, you know, we all feel something for these guys. This bouquet and hat had been left at the hotel where Skaggs was found and where this young fan came to show support. Yeah, it's just going to be sad that they have to just think about their pitcher dying, and that it's just really sad for the team. The loss was also on the minds of fans enjoying lunch at Humperdinck's near the ballpark. As Ranger fans, you know, we lift them up, and sure, there's a sport to be played, but it's more than that tonight as they go to play, and, um, you know, that they'll go out there and play their best, but they're missing their friends. Stay in prayer and just keep God with them every day. Now, the prayers have come quickly, but answers could take some time. South Lake Police telling me today that it could be four to six weeks before they can get toxicology reports and have a cause of death. At Globe Life Park in Arlington, I'm Robbie Owens reporting live for CBS 11 News.